82%. According to the Heritage Foundation, that's how much higher the chances are of a child living in poverty if the parents are not married. And marriage isn't just good for your finances, it's good for your health and for your happiness. Social science proves all that, and that's why we're celebrating an entire week dedicated to marriage. So here to kick it off this week is the executive director of the National Marriage Week USA, Sheila Weber. Nice to see you this morning, Hi, Sheila. Great to be here. Well, those are some good statistics. Well, National Marriage Week wants to celebrate marriage and help people find more success. We want to promote the benefits of marriage. In fact, just this month, the Federal Bureau of Economic Research said that marriage does actually make people happier and give them greater satisfaction. However, fewer people are choosing to be married. So in 1979, I'm sorry, 1970, only 79% of the adults were married, and now only 52%. We've dropped from 79% down to 52% of the adults who are married in this country. And we just want people to know that marriage is actually good for you. It gives you greater financial stability. How so? Um, married couples have far and above uh, the accumulated assets that single people do and um, it gives you greater health and long life in fact single men chop about 10 years off their lifespan so it makes men live longer and why is that because they're going out and boozing uh, it up and doing crazy uh, stuff I'm, boy I wouldn't even begin to know why <laughs> that is but that that's what the research shows Well, I know why because it tames men it keeps them under control it keeps them from you know, well they do say much, that yes yeah. yes marriage in general for both men and women causes uh, less depression and less problem drinking so right. there, there's something about the comfort of having to, uh, you know, not be lonely and have someone, you know, observe your life. There's something just incredibly rewarding to get to the end of your life knowing that someone has been a witness to your life. Well, then, if the, I mean, this isn't just opinion. Social science has proved everything you've said. Study after study yep. is conclusive. Why wouldn't the President of the United States one time in seven years say, maybe you should get married? Well, not one time. Why? Well, first of all, we do, we're very understanding that people have regrets, and so we have single parent households and divorce households, and we, and we know they want to do better the next time around. Our hope is that they would send messages to their children that marriage is good for you, it's still an aspiration, and what we're advocating is marriage education and relationship education. So National Marriage Week USA has lots and lots of resources from every kind of group imaginable, and we've got um, classes and workshops. We want people to go get help and learn this skill. So we have the only online national marriage calendar. If you just start a small marriage class, you can put it for free on this online calendar. You can find help near where you live, or if you have a friend or a relative that needs help, you can go to this online calendar and find a class or workshop. What's the website? Nationalmarriageweekusa.org. Great, great. Thank Wonderful. you so much, Sheila. Great advice. Thanks, Thanks. Sheila.